Hey right, guys, I thought I'd share with you some of the fun and games on this uh, oscilloscope repair. Um, so, progress is being made, albeit slowly and one step at a time. So, this is the uh, Timebase uh, module that I think is relevant. As you can see, we have a little sea of uh, discrete uh, solid state stuff here. Anyway, um, Last time out I'd established that if you let the time base run in auto it will sweep so you get beam, you get the trace. However of course the problem with auto is it doesn't sync very well with the input signal. So moving back further a little bit to the uh, input side of this thing we have uh, on the uh, we have a trigger source switch which selects channel 1, channel 2, external or line and external divided by 10 um, that then feeds to a, a, uh, a trigger coupling switch um, and then into the trigger circuitry so I thought the easiest thing I could do right away is, is to feed the same signal into the channel input and into the external trigger set it to external trigger DC coupled and see if it would fire and sure enough it locks perfectly it works just fine so that basically tells me that everything downstream of here is working just fine and so it has to be back up upstream of this which is curious and interesting um, so the first thing I've done at this point is uh, just verify that my understanding of the drawing is correct so when you select it to external trigger and it's DC coupled which is this point four on this side it is literally a physical connection directly to this uh, input resistor right here and sure enough that is correct um, and it's a bit of a mess, or it's very, uh, there's very little space in which to, you know, put probes and measure things. But I did establish that um, if I then select channel 1 or channel 2, the there is continuity, DC coupled down to here. And I've just thought, okay, now I have to follow the wiring back this way. And this here is the edge connector of the module, which connects it to its sort of mini backplane. And so I've just established that we have continuity from this switch because uh, these are big screened cables that run back to the uh, backplane connector. Um, and so now I'll have to see where those backplane connectors go to and trace it back from there. Um, anyway, so physically what that looks like is um, this switch over here is the trigger source. Um, wafer selector switch and this one is the coupling switch for um, let's say the uh, the A trigger channel this is the external A trigger so when I feed the audio signal into here as well as into the uh, channel 1 set trigger to external it locks and everything triggers and it works just fine so the uh, the two channel switches which are also connected to this module are basically these dark um, screened cables that you can see here and so it's the one with the yellow and the one with the with the number 8 written on it and I follow those back and sure enough they actually go to where they should go on these backlink connectors so at least I have continuity to there and so they plug in basically there and as you can see these are fairly meaty connectors so I'm not I don't think I have too much to worry about uh, in terms of contact and so the next step is I'll have to see where those where those relevant connectors go um, and I'm sure they route over here into the um, into the other module which is the two channel uh, input uh, modules and um, but it's curious that I cannot sync from either channel input uh, and yet they seem to be over here they seem to be two separate wires uh, so whatever has happened over here has happened in both channels um, anyway that's the theory so as I say the fact that it locks solid with an external trigger 
is really good news. Um, I just have to follow it back and it looks like it's not in the time based module at all now. It's going to be more than likely in the uh, channel uh, input modules. So this is the setup. So the signal generator has the audio out going to both the external in and the channel 1 in of the scope. And you can see it locks perfectly, no problem. Um, so um, and everything looks rock solid. But if I flip to try and trigger on the channel itself, nothing. So that kind of would suggest that uh, we have to move. So it's somewhere between it getting in here and it getting transferred over to the time-based module. So we keep on going. <laughs>